Hey guys, a quick review or a quick video of Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 running on the Galaxy S2 Hercules for T-Mobile. Uh, you can see right there 4.0.3. And I'm not getting the little Android guy. There we go. That little guy. I went ahead and installed this at XDA uh, Android development for the Galaxy S2T 989 for T-Mobile. Uh, it's Darkside uh, Evolution uh, by TD TDJ, the same guy who created the Darkside Super Wipe. Uh, this is a great ROM, easy to flash. Uh, you don't need a recovery touch. You could do it with the regular Clockwork Mod Recovery, and it's a very stable ROM. I've used them all, and so far this one has been, in my uh, humble opinion, the most stable. Battery life is good. Um, I don't know if I was just charging, but let me just take a look here. Okay, five hours, thirty minutes. I got seventy percent uh, battery, which is good. Uh, you know, I've used it on voice calls, messaging. Uh, the screen is, you know, clearly taking up quite a bit of battery. But as you could see, uh, five hours with thirty percent is is pretty good. And what I use for that, what I use to make my battery even better is Juice Defender. I would suggest that for anyone out there who's looking for better better battery life. Juice Defender it is, and also uh, if, if you're rooted, download System Tuner and go ahead and freeze Wi-Fi Direct, Wi-Fi Sharing and Wi-Fi Sharing Manager, doesn't affect anything and it'll actually improve your battery life quite a bit, and again it doesn't affect anything, your Wi-Fi will still work perfectly fine, uh, and speaking of Wi-Fi, the data speeds on this are great, uh, I get HSPA Plus speeds of anywhere from 10 to 20 megabytes per second down and 3 to 4 up uh, in certain areas of Glendale. Now, in my specific uh, house, I'm, for whatever reason, my uh, my HSPA is, is not too well, not too good. But I still get decent, you know, 9, 8, 7, 13 megabytes per second, which is good. But for whatever reason, I have to put it at a certain spot in my house for it to get those speeds. Otherwise, it's fairly, fairly slower. Um, as you can see, you got the Apex Launcher running here. And the ROM does come with the option of either running uh, TouchWiz or running Apex Launcher which gives you more of that stock feel. Uh, now I've went ahead and uninstalled TouchWiz. I backed it up and uninstalled it uh, from System Tuner. But what you could do is you can always go to backups, click on whatever it is that you uninstalled and restore it. So once I restore that, um, it gives you the option of which launcher you want to choose. So here's TouchWiz on ICS for the Galaxy S2 Hercules for T-Mobile. Again, runs good, runs fast, it's smooth. You know, I've actually noticed TouchWiz is a little bit more responsive uh, than Apex Launcher, but you're always going to get that with third-party launchers. A few bugs here and there. Uh, since this is stock TouchWiz, it's quick, man. I mean, this thing is just... I don't want to use motion. This thing is just fast. And there's not a lag in the world. And uh, clearly, that's what we all Android users want. Uh, ultimately is that fast experience, that experience that you know iOS users always brag about or even these days Windows 7, Windows Phone 7 users will brag about oh, or all our, phone, all our phones are smoother and faster. Well, that may be true uh, with previous versions of Android, but now, not so much. Um, and here's an example of what I mean, the pinch zoom, smooth, smooth as butter. You got the five finger, so you can rotate anywhere around the screen. Um, you know, graphics intensive websites such as let's go to Lakers ground yes Lakers I am a fan of the Lakers if you look at my channel you'll see I have a bunch of Laker videos I posted back in ooh, 2006 you know scrolling is smooth pinch zoom smooth as butter you know look at that you got you got that that quote-unquote iOS smoothness again which is what they always complain or they always boast about but we you know with with 4.0 you get that fluidity uh, which you wouldn't find with, which you wouldn't find with previous versions of Android, in my opinion. And also, Samsung gives you that GPU acceleration, which is great. Uh, you know, you got messaging, which is good. Uh, the keyboard, very smooth, good keyboard. You could see. Uh, let's see the Apex launcher here. Uh, games run good. Speed test. You know, the camera is fantastic. Uh, the camera works well. Um, everything's fast. Everything's smooth. Auto rotation, uh, you know, I love the fact that auto rotation gives you that, uh, you know, that that nice, nice little graphic there. Uh, 
you know, auto rotation works, works well as a matter of fact, uh, videos work, video recording works, everything works. I mean, the, there's no call echoes, uh, there's no bugs in my opinion, in my estimation, everything works as, a, you know, it's a normal ICS or a official ICS ROM would, would, would handle. But in any, in any case, if you guys are looking to install this, go ahead and message me. I'll go ahead and give you instructions on how to do it. Uh, it's fairly simple if you have the time. Um, it, I'll probably be posting a video about how to exactly install these ROMs and then you can go ahead and actually install whichever one it is that you want to install on your own. Uh, but otherwise I can assist you on that if, if you just go ahead and message me. Uh, let me know that you're looking at installing the specific ROM or ice cream sandwich on your Galaxy S2 Hercules 4T Mobile and I'll go ahead and assist you guys with that. Uh, other than that, let's see.